Hey guys, I'm sorry I had to end the live stream. Um, I had some stuff I had to do real quick. But like I was saying, when I was on the edge of ending my own life, when I had that knife in my fucking stomach, prepared to die for her. She didn't do a damn fucking thing to stop me. <laughs> I was on the edge of throwing my entire life away. I almost died to death. And she didn't do a damn thing to stop me at all. <laughs> and that hurts me to know that she did that. <laughs> that will forever fucking haunt me. <laughs> Knowing that the woman that said that she loved me <laughs> did not even try to stop me from ending my own life. That just shows how evil you really are, Heather. You are a soulless, evil, evil fucking person. If it were you on the edge, actually, I take that back. You were on the edge at one point. I remember when you wanted to end your fucking life. Because of what Jessica was doing. You wanted to end your life with those pain meds. What was the first thing I fucking did when I seen you wanting to end your fucking life that night? What did I do? I walked up to you and I hugged you and I grabbed the pills from you and I told you it would be okay and I held you in my fucking arms. And I told you how much I love you and that it would be all right. Meanwhile, what did you do to me? You didn't show the same compassion for me. When my life was on the line, you sat there and you stared like a fucking lifeless fucking zombie. But not me. I sat there. And I held you and I told you that everything will be all right. I don't understand why you didn't fucking try to stop me. I almost fucking died today and you didn't do a goddamn thing to stop me from taking my own life. You know, Heather, it's people like you in this world that made me the way that I am. Like I said, I grew up being bullied my entire fucking life. Being abused by a lot of my exes. Being raped by one of my gay best friends in high school. And then they sit there and know that you didn't even care enough to even try to stop me? What kind of person does that? I am tired of being hurt by people like you, Heather. I am tired of it. You promised me that you wouldn't hurt me. And what did you do? <sighs> My
My entire life, I have been bullied. I have been attacked. And today, my life was on the edge. And you didn't do a goddamn thing to stop me. And that hurts a lot more than you fucking know. You know, all I ever asked for, my entire life, all I ever asked for was to be with somebody that actually fucking makes me happy and doesn't do this shit to me. And I thought you would be the one to do that, to change all that. I thought you would be the one to step up and say, hey, I'm not going to do that to you. But what did you fucking do? What did you fucking do? You sided with the fucking trolls. You sided with the people that attacked me. And you decided that I wasn't worth it. When you were the one that cleared my name of the of me when I was getting accused of murdering Candle or pushing her to her suicide, you were the one that stopped me. You were the one that cleared my name from that. Like, for you to do this, it puts me back in the fucking dark where I didn't want to be. The thought of you doing that, it was going to forever be ingrained in my fucking brain. When I fell asleep earlier, all I could see was you in that moment when I tried to kill myself. And you were just staring back at me with that lifeless evil fucking look in your eyes. What kind of heartless person are you? <laughs> First you leave without saying a fucking word. Without even trying to talk to me or mom or anyone. And then you don't even try to fucking stop me from taking my own life. What kind of heartless evil person are you? And everyone wonders why I'm so upset all the time. Why I'm so angry all the time. This is exactly why. Because of people like Heather and these trolls that have been attacking me for fucking years on end. And I'm tired of it. I never wanted to fight anyone. I never wanted the attacks. I never asked to be attacked. I never wanted any of this. I never wanted to be made out to be the bad guy that I am being portrayed out to be when I am not that person. I am not the person that you trolls are making me out to be. I am not an evil fucking person. If anything, I'm the nicest person in the fucking world. So... How do I deserve what you guys fucking do to me? How do I fucking deserve it? I 
I don't deserve that. No one does. No one deserves the hell that you fucking trolls put me through. And Heather, I didn't deserve what you did to me today either. I didn't deserve that. Yes, I've done some things that were wrong. Yes, but I atoned for those sins. I owned up to the fucked up shit that I did. Yes, I hurt you one fucking time, but that was because you would not let me out of my fucking room to go cool off before I flipped out. I tried to warn you that I was blacking out and to let me go for a fucking walk, but what did you do that day? You sat there and would not open the door and let me go. And because of that, I blacked out and had my hand around your neck. <laughs> I tried to tell you. I tried to tell you that I felt the blackout going on after that argument, but you didn't fucking listen. When I tried to keep these trolls from attacking you, you wouldn't fucking listen to me. You thought that I was the cause of the drama, but I wasn't. I tried to keep these trolls from coming after you, and I asked you fucking assholes several fucking times, if you're going to come after me, come after me directly. But instead, what did you guys do? You drug Heather into your bullshit. You drug people that were not needed into your bullshit to attack me. <laughs> you drug Heather into it. You guys drug Michael into it. You drug Heather's kids into it. You drug my family and her family into it. And for what reason? For a little bit of fucking payback? Is that what this is about? Payback? And if you are trying to get payback, what's it for? What did I ever do to you guys to deserve this? I didn't deserve the shit that you guys fucking put me through at all. I did not deserve that one fucking bit. Nobody deserves the attacks that you guys have put out on me. <laughs> and Tyler and why I see your comment, my dude. And yeah, you're right. I do need help. And yes, I am mentally unstable. But guess what? But Tyler, it's people like you and Heather and these other trolls that put me there. By sitting there and doing these attacks, by belittling me, by attacking me, by bullying me the way you guys fucking did, that's what put me in the state that I'm in now. That's what drove me to lash out. And ultimately, that's what drove me to almost end my fucking life today. But as I said, Heather, you proved how much of a heartless fucking bitch you really are. You done fucking proved that. When I was on the edge, you did nothing to stop me. You stared at me like a lifeless fucking zombie. 
You didn't care. And honestly, I regret wasting my fucking time with you. I regret every single fucking minute that we spent together. Because had I known then what I know now, I would have never gotten with you. Do I love Elliot and Leah to death? Yes, I fucking do. I love those two as if they were my own flesh and blood. I love those kids to pieces. All I got to say, other is I hope you're happy with yourself. Because of you, I am now stuck back where I was. Alone, angry, upset, hurt. Wondering if I'm even fucking worth it. Wondering why. Why does this always happen to me? What did I do wrong? Well, you're living your life happy with your kids. I'm here alone again because of you. I just can't believe you didn't try to fucking stop me. Okay, you want to know something other? If you were on the edge, I would have done everything in my fucking power to stop you. And that night when you almost took your life, I did stop you. When you wanted to end your life with those pills. And you had those pills in your fucking hand. And you wanted to end your life. The first thing I did was I walked up to you and I hugged you and I begged you to put the pills down and to talk to me. I saved your life. And I have no regrets of doing that. But what I don't understand is why you couldn't do the same for me. If you truly loved me, why didn't you do the same thing for me? Why didn't you walk up to me and talk to me? Why didn't you walk up to me and talk to me like a fucking human being and tell me that it was going to be okay and that you would actually sit down and talk with me? That's all I asked is that you sit down and talk to me instead of leaving without a fucking reason. But you couldn't even do that. Like I said, Heather, I hope, I hope and pray to God you get what's coming to you. Because you are an evil, heartless, evil fucking person. And no one deserves to be put through what y'all put me through. <laughs>